When you log into the TryMyUI app, your dashboard will show any tests that are available to perform. Each test will tell you if it's for a website or an app, how long you'll have to finish it, and whether you need to check any additional criteria to qualify for the test. One kind of additional criteria a test might have is a technical requirement. For example, a test might require you to have a certain OS version or phone model. There may also be a special requirement like this one. Read what the customer is asking for and then indicate whether you meet the criteria. If you do, you'll be asked to verbally describe how you meet it once you start recording your test. Make sure to use detail when you give your answer later, as you can be rejected for an insufficient response. A test may also have multiple choice screener questions. Just choose whichever answer is most accurate for you, and if your answer matches what the customer is looking for, you'll continue on to begin the test. At this point, you may want to turn on Do Not Disturb mode in your settings. Then, whenever you're ready to start recording, hit Start Test. Allow both the screen and microphone permissions that our app requests when starting your session. These functions will only be active while you are recording a test video, and never at any other time. We're now recording, so the next step will be to follow the test instructions as they appear. This test had a special verbal requirement, so now I'm going to state how I meet this criteria. I'll explain that I bought a pair of new shoes from the Vans website back in April and tell a little bit about those shoes and maybe about some other times I've bought shoes or clothing online. Moving on, I'll carefully read the frame of mind. You should use the information here to imagine yourself in the real-life situation that this test represents. Throughout the rest of your recorded session, keep this information in mind and think about how you would really act and what you would really think or want if this was real life. When you reach task one, read it, and then without pressing next, tap the tasks button at the bottom to close the instructions view and switch over to the customer's website. From here, you'll try to accomplish that task to the best of your ability, taking your time and describing your thoughts, feelings, reactions, and expectations as you go. Talk about anything you think could be improved, even if it seems minor. When you've finished the task, or tried your best to do so, tap on the Tasks button again. Respond to any survey questions, and then continue on to the next task. Always go one task at a time, and try not to get ahead of the instructions as you go. Lastly, if you need to leave the test before finishing, you can quit by tapping the button at the bottom right. Thanks for watching this video, and best of luck with your testing.